Live look outside, lots of sunshine out there. Rob, we're getting closer to the weekend. Yeah, that blue sky looks pretty good in that picture, doesn't it? Yeah, and we've got a lot of blue sky with us, clear skies for the most part. There have been a few clouds along the rim of the lake here, but back to the west, we watch a few more showers, and that's going to be an important part of our forecast looking to the weekend. I'll show you what I mean coming up in just a second. I wanted to talk about our current forecast where temperatures near 80 degrees, few degrees either side of that, depending on where you are. Because the air is dry, we will cool it down again tonight, 62. Those temperatures dropping, but the city maintains the warm spot, the urban heat island, very pronounced this time of year, and you see almost all other locations outside of the city getting down into the mid 50s. We do the same thing over the next few nights. We do get a little bit warmer for tomorrow. The sunshine is helping. The south winds are helping. We'll get into the 80s, I think, for sure, and your forecast for tomorrow. It's a lot of sunshine, but coupled with the south winds, it's able to move the temperatures just a little bit warmer, so it will be a pretty nice forecast for tomorrow. A nice Friday, and I think Saturday is going to be good as well. I I am putting on the graphic here mostly sunny skies. I really went back and forth. If there was one day in my forecast that gave me a lot of uh, trouble to get the forecast nailed, it would be the Saturday forecast because it's the transition day from this dry pattern that we're in to a much more active pattern for Sunday. And if any forecast day is going to get you, uh, it's this transitional day. Let me show you what I mean by this. The rain chances are going to start to ramp up Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So even though I have mostly sunny skies, it's not rain free. About about a 20% chance that we'll see something pop up and you can see those rain chances ramping up as we get closer to Monday. The issue is going to be this. Remember those showers I said that we're back to the west. There's a lot more humidity here and by sometime late Friday night that humidity and that heating of the day may get a few clusters of storms to develop. This is what burned me about two weeks ago on my forecast where I thought we'd see clear skies, but one of these storms really kept going and it kept going and it fed off of the heat and humidity that was in place and it led to some storms here when I was expecting that we'd stay relatively dry. So it wasn't that we were popping storms here. We were just bringing them in from somewhere else. The difference with this forecast is the air that's in place is not that sticky, humid air mass that we had in place a couple of weeks back. It's much a drier forecast. So I'm still going to stick to my Saturday forecast holding mostly sunny there, but that's one to watch. We keep things a little bit unsettled, but very summer like as we head into next week. You ain't getting burned twice, Rob I Ellis. Hope not. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah.